Did you hear uh, Jeff Schwartz here on the Rich Eisen show? Pat Shermer said Eli's looking great. <laughs> uh, I've seen videos of Eli. He, he's he's looking good. I mean, yeah, it's the off season. Uh, most guys look good. Um, oh man, I uh, it's just I don't even know where to begin with that. Uh, I think they're going to keep Eli as long as he can stand upright. I, I I just can't see them cutting Eli. I think it comes from an ownership decision at the very top. We talked about that with the Jets. They love Eli. I get it. He won two Super Bowls for them. I like playing with Eli. He's a great guy. He's a great organiz- He's a great front-facing guy for the Giants organization. Yes. I think when Gettleman said they're going to wait three years, I think they mean it. I think until Eli I don't know. gets hurt and he's done, I, I uh-huh. he doesn't get hurt. He never misses games. If he is just okay this year and the Giants are 8-8, eight eight, let's say, like they improve, right? They're close to the playoffs, not quite there yet. They improve. They have pieces. They have good parts on offense. Defense got to get a better pass rush. And they go 8-8. Eight eight. They're not going to play Daniel Jones next year. Sure they are. They have to. If they, if they, no, Eli's, they got one, to. Eli's got one year left on his contract. Yeah. So in order for the three-year plan to be done, they have to re-sign him. Yeah. And if they re-sign him, they need to do it before he plays a snap. Or if I'm Eli, this I would do it mean. before he plays yeah. a snap this year. Correct. Because that way, if they go, you know, four and six to start the yeah. season or they finish up eight and eight, you do have to basically say, we're done here. Let's see what Daniel Jones can do and throw him in the deep end <laughs> of the th- pool. Don't you, you think? You, I mean, they tried doing that two years overall, ago. Seventh. Oh, well, Geno Smith's a different well, story. The problem though. was they went with Geno, not Davis Webb. Were you on that team? No, I was not. Okay. If they had gone with Davis Webb, it wouldn't have been such an uproar. They went with a guy that was not the future. Geno Smith was never the future. If they said, Davis Webb, you're in, <laughs> Davis also... Webb was never the future either. But if they would have put him in, I'm telling you, they're, they're, the Giants fans don't seem as excited for Daniel Jones. They drafted a guy that fans aren't really excited to see. It buys them more time with Eli Manning. I know that. Davis Webb, the, the, you hit on it partially, <laughs> that when they went to Davis Webb, they went to Geno Smith instead of Davis Webb. They went with a guy that wasn't the future. Correct. But they also went with a guy who the rest of New York City had a front row seat <laughs> to know he was not the future Correct. also. It was you were not even reading the room. You weren't reading your own room. You weren't reading right. the entire room of the New York City metropolitan area. And that guy over there, Brockman, <laughs> thinks that, that McAdoo is doing the, the organization a favor. That you, they should have just McAdoo was it. right the whole time. He was right the whole time. I, I totally agree. Organizations set themselves back by not doing the tough thing. Bill Belichick has always done that, right? He's always done the tough thing. Even the Colts, Peyton Manning, one year hurt, getting older. All right, we'll get Andrew Luck, move on. The Giants just don't seem, at least outwardly, to want to do that. It's holding them back. They should have drafted Darnold last year, never had this problem. You drafted a running back instead of a franchise quarterback. Makes no sense to me. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.